X also the member or element in set B. Okay. We use this symbol when uh, this symbol means that there is a possibility that set A is equivalent with set B. Okay. So uh, a little bit of difference between these two symbols. The size of the set is called the cardinality. Okay. That will mean the the members in the set. Like uh, for a set of odd positive integer less than ten, what would be <coughs> one, three, five, seven, and nine? Only five elements. So the cardinality of the set is equal to 5. Okay. The cardinality of an empty set is 0. No element in the set. Finite and infinite set. Right. Finite set would have a countable number of members in the set. Countable, right? Finite. Infinite means that we cannot count the number. Non-countable number of the member in the set. Okay. So set of positive integers, set of real numbers, these are infinite sets. Power set. Power set is the set of all subsets, right? All the possible subsets of a set. Like power set of set containing elements 0, 1, and 2. What would be the cardinality of this power set? The size, the number of subsets, right? Would be 2. Third, right? Two power three. That would be empty set, set with one element containing the zero, one, two, and the set with two elements, and set with three elements, right? All together, eight sets, right? Eight subsets. So the cardinality of this power set is n. How about Cartesian product? For two sets, A and B, okay, we use this symbol like the cross sign to represent the Cartesian, Cartesian product. Okay, meaning that the first element, the first order is A and the second order is B. Okay. A Cartesian product of A B is not equivalent with Cartesian product of B A, right? The other pair, any other pair A B is not necessarily equal to the other pair B A. Okay. Not equivalent. The next section set operations. Okay. The union of the set, union intersection. Okay. These are all what we familiar, right? A union B, right, would represent like the part of the set that are shared between A and B, right? And all of them belongs to A and also belongs to B. 
intersection is only the the part that is joined between the two sets, right? A intersect with B. This joint, two sets are called this joint if the intersection of the set is empty set. Difference in definition number four. Difference of set A and B would be written this way, just like A minus B. Okay, what would that be if we draw a Venn diagram? What would be A minus B? The difference of A and B belongs to A, not belong to B. Right? Right? A minus B is equivalent to B minus A. Is that right? No. Right? This is A minus B. B minus A would be this part, right? Different. <laughs> what about complement? Complement is like not, right? A complement is anything not belong to A. Okay. Universal set minus A. Or we can call it A prime. Okay. A not or A complement. Okay. They have the same meaning. And property of sets, there are some laws according to the property. The laws name are pretty much the same as the laws used in the logic, Boolean logic. Okay. We have identity law. Domination law. Okay, identity law would be like a set union or intersect with empty set. Okay. Domination law would be like the universal set is dominating <coughs> a set when we have the union operation, right? A union with universal set would be universal set. Yes? Is there anything wrong here? Identity law. Identity law. This is supposed to be empty set, right? Right? Okay. What? This is empty set, not zero. But uh, this is not identity law. It's supposed to be, uh, this is a typo, it's supposed to be a intersect with the universal set, right? It's a typo. Universal, you know. Okay, all right, all right. 